Guitar Power. I have the pleasure of sitting here with the amazing Julian Lage. Thank How are you? Sir, I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay. What was it about music and the guitar in particular just drew you in? It sucked me in. Yeah. Uh, my father. My father, okay. he picked up a guitar when I was about four years old. I, I basically begged my parents for a guitar. Right. And they said, if you still want one when you're five, we'll get you one. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, when I was five, my parents got me um, a guitar, an electric guitar. My father started by showing me not a song or, or really any any style. He just he, he he was so hip in retrospect. My father said, uh, "Here's a scale. This is a pentatonic scale, mm -hmm. like an A blues scale." Mm -hmm. And he said, "Here's it here, and here's it here, and here's here it is here." And he what, said, what, it, "Remember what he started?" I think it was mm -hmm. A. I think it was A. That was the first one, and then. I forget how high I went up. Right. Um, but, <laughs> That's amazing. But it, it all felt so high. So that was straight away, like all, in all, all positions? He had this first theory. Lesson? First pos all positions, first lesson was kind of like, any note you play, mm -hmm. he said, if I play a blues progression, any note you play in those scales will be right. I just kind of fell in love, you know? Yeah. And just, and that, it's, if, that's how I feel today, is just I want to get better and keep trying to learn about it. So. Yeah. And, and frankly, the guitar is so cool. You yeah, know, I mean, I cool. there's no better way to say it than it's <laughs> like... Look at them. This, you know? Look at these. Yeah. It's amazing. Amps are cool. Strings are cool. Picks yeah. are cool. I mean, I, I'm kind of a nerd for this stuff. And, and do you remember, in, in particular, any, uh, any song or piece that you really realized this is the moment where I finally... Where kind of clicked. Yeah. I, I always loved... I mean, so, it's, almost, it's so um, traditional it, if you're mm -hmm. in the jazz world, but all the things you are. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, the, yeah. it's this... Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost, it's a melody that moves so beautifully through um, these sequences, you yeah. know, that it's not only, you know, enjoyable to listen and play, but it's kind of a theoretical study. Yeah, you know, exactly. you see these chords, you say, why do they fit like a puzzle, you know, and it keeps switching keys. And I, that, for me, that's always kind of been a benchmark song, where, you yeah, know, yeah. Autumn Leaves is like yeah. still one of my favorite songs. A, a little example of... Uh, yeah, yeah Autumn Leaves... Uh, That's just A's. gorgeous. I used to do this trick when I'd learn music, um, where I wasn't—I wanted to get off the page, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially in jazz, you're always reading charts, or you often are. And so I would learn it well enough to pl to read and play it, not memorize it. And I'd, I'd tape record that, and then I'd put away the book and then learn it by ear from myself, you know. Kind of wow. say, well, I must know it because I'm transcribing myself <laughs> right, playing right. it, you know. Oh, well, I said that's a. Great. It was fun, yeah. but it, it got over the guilt thing because I, I just it was just kind of a fun experiment. It wasn't it wasn't life or death. Right. Um, so that's good. <laughs> life right? or death in music. Oh my god. That's too much pressure. That's too much pressure. Too much. I started to see the guitar as having a home in jazz. Mm -hmm. Saying, okay, guitar doesn't always have to be an outsider. You can play jazz and feel at home. Look at all these masters. Mm -hmm. I started with blues, so I always had Muddy Waters and T Bone Walker in my head as being like, that's pretty righteous guitar. Mm -hmm. um, and then the bluegrass thing opened up where I used to see these guys like Del McCurry or Tony Rice or John Carlini or Brian Sutton, and I'd see them play an acoustic guitar and make it sound 
exciting, you yeah. know, and driving and make you tap your foot and want to move, you know. Mm -hmm. In terms of the bluegrass stuff, uh, I noticed, you know, you've kind of folded a lot of that in, into your, the acoustic stuff in, That's as true. well. I remember having a, a like a old time bluegrass jam where yeah. I just, I, you know, they asked me to, I just learned how to like just play the rhythm, right? play the rhythm yeah. and, and kind of sense when the four was coming and then, they, you know, because exactly. they, they all do that, but you never know when it's going to happen. You have to feel the room about to pull. Oh my God. You know? That's, that's yeah. the best way to say it. Yeah. I, that's, well, that was my kind of renaissance back into acoustic music was mm. I started playing old time jams. You know, I grew mm. up with it with David Grisman and playing rhythm guitar and finding that joy of, of playing a G chord and mm -hmm. trying to find a steady rhythm um, was kind of, kind of like the skies parting for me because I thought, mm -hmm. wow, you know, it's not a question of, I'm not guessing if it sounds good. If, if my foot's tapping and theirs is too, mm -hmm. and I feel kind of like swept up in it all, it's probably going okay. Yeah. You know, it's, it had nothing to, be with, nothing to do with about um, being cool, and I right. like that. Yeah. So I started, um, and I, I'm too shy to show you any of that now because I feel like Okay. <laughs> on the acoustic guitar, it makes a lot of sense. With yes. the telly, I still feel like a klutz with that. Because all, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a delicate instrument in a different way. You kind of imply it with. The abstraction awesome. of it is more what's fun for me on the electric. Yeah. So growing up, did you have any pop influences? You know, I, what's funny is I, I did indirectly. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I kind of, I don't know how I seem to miss out on most rock and pop guitar. I mm -hmm. was, I think I, I, I owe that to being a, a jazz nerd and kind of <laughs> having my head down and looking at very specific things. Um, but having said that, Stevie Ray Vaughan was kind of someone I was obsessed with. Yeah. And, and, as simple as watching him on Austin City Limits on repeat, you know, mm -hmm. all week long. Um, Muddy Water was someone who I, I, my parents had recordings of, and I would just think, God, that's the coolest, you know, just most visceral, raw guitar playing. Mm -hmm. As I got older, I kind of forgot about a lot of that stuff, and I mm -hmm. didn't focus on it. I was more on the theoretical side of things. And then probably in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. I... I I got back into that playing through my favorite songwriters, you know, mm. where I'd hear Elliot Smith, and I'd yeah. think, God, to be able to play guitar like Elliot Smith would be the coolest thing ever. Yeah, like, why didn't anyone tell me? That was always my, like, yeah. how did I miss <laughs> this? Uh, super popular, super great. So I started getting a little deeper into the pop world, singer-songwriter world, getting more into Jimmy Page, getting mm. more into Hendrix. I somehow managed to miss Hendrix for most of my yeah. life, and you know. Isn't it cool, um, like, that you can, there's great. all this stuff for the first I can year. come back to it, and I, yeah. don't feel, I don't feel like there's anything to prove, because I feel like um, I, I, I'm just a fan, and, and, mm. and, like, and what's fun about liking things like that is that everyone, everyone has such a love for it, so you can, you can, um, you can kind of relate, I feel like I can relate to a whole new field where I'm like, mm. you, you know that solo, isn't that ridiculous? And yeah. I don't even know, I wouldn't know how to begin how to learn it, but I just love it. Um, do you want to take us out with a little something? We'll yeah, what could I love play? To hear what you would play you? Great, whatever you... Sure. Such, a pleasure. such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for this. Amazing, amazing. So fun.